Now to the dangerously frigid temperatures threatening what's described by the National Weather Service as a once in a generation cold. From the Midwest to New England, some cities could break records with wind chills of 50 or even 60 degrees below zero. We get more now from CBS's Nancy Chen. The brutal cold came in with a fury. In Oswego, New York, frigid temperatures and howling winds blew in overnight, creating hazardous conditions. But it's New England that will feel the brunt of a polar vortex, bringing double digit wind chills. In Boston, where the city has already declared a cold weather emergency, the deep freeze has forced school closures. At a city park, hats and gloves were left for anyone who needed them. If someone's outside for a long period of time, definitely dangerous. Across the city, dozens of warming centers have opened in preparation for temperatures that feel as cold as 33 below zero. But the misery will be shared. Wind chills could plunge to 15 below in New York City, 40 below in Burlington, Vermont, and 60 below in northern Maine by Saturday morning. Still, those temperatures are balmy in comparison to the top of New Hampshire's Mount Washington, the highest peak in the Northeast. Tonight, fierce wind chills could drop as low as 107 degrees below zero, with hurricane force wind gusts up to 140 miles per hour. In the south, states are beginning to thaw. This week's massive ice storm led to at least 11 deaths, dangerous road conditions, and down power lines. In Texas, over 200,000 customers are still without power. Our focus remains on getting power back on, clearing debris from roads, and helping everyone in our city return to normal. Just about every corner of New England will be below zero at some point, with records expected to be smashed, including one set nearly 140 years ago, Nora. That is really cold. Nancy Chen, thank you for being there. We appreciate it.